Hey everybody, it is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Friday, um, October the 1st, 2021. Um, I hope everybody that has a blessed weekend coming up. And this is my uh, Bible reading for October the 1st. All right, it is John chapter 18. <clears throat> Betrayal and arrest in Gethsemane. When Jesus has spoken these words, he went out with disciples over the brook Kidron, <clears throat> where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. His disciples entered, and Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, for Jesus often met there with his disciples. Then Judas, having received a detachment of troops and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, came there with lanterns, torches, and weapons. Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that would come upon him, went forward and said to them, Whom are you seeking? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. <clears throat> Jesus said to them, I am he. And, Ju and Judas, who betrayed him, also stood with them. Now when he, had said, when he said to them, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Then he asked them again, Whom are you seeking? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. Therefore, if you seek me, let these go their, let these go their way, that the saying might be fulfilled which he spoke. Of those whom you gave me, I have lost none. Let me read that again. That saying might, uh, let these go their way, that the saying might be fulfilled which he spoke. Of those whom you gave me, I have lost none. <clears throat> Meaning, there's nothing you can do uh, to separate us from God. The devil can try. I can try. I mean, he can throw the he can throw the best uh, artillery at us, but when it all comes down to it, he cannot uh, he cannot separate us from God. We make the choices, and it's easy to do. Not blaming, but we make the choices to sin and sin separates us from God. All right, even me, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to myself. Then Simon Peter, having a, a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. This servant's name was Malchus. So Jesus said to Peter, put your sword into the sheath. Shall I not drink the cup which my father has given me? Before the high priest, then the detachment of troops and and the captain and the officers of the Jews arrested Jesus and bound him. And they led him away to Annas first, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. Now it was Caiaphas who advised the Jews that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. And Peter denies Jesus. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. Now that disciple was known to the high priest and went with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door outside. Then the other disciples, who was known to the high priest, went out and spoke to her who kept the door and brought Peter in. Then the servant girl looked. The servant girl who kept the door said to Peter, You are not also one of the man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. <clears throat> now the serpents and the officers who had made a fire of coals stood there, for it was cold, and they warmed themselves. And Peter stood with them and warmed himself. Jesus questioned by the high priest. The high priest then asked Jesus about his disciples and his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I spoke openly to the world, always taught in synagogues and in the temple where the Jews always met. And in secret I have said nothing. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. Indeed, they know what I've said. And when he had said these things, one of the officers stood who stood by, stood by, struck Jesus with the palm of his hand. Do you answer the high priest like that? Jesus answered, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why do you strike me? Then Anna sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Peter denies twice more. Now Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. Therefore they said to him, You are, you are not also a long, one of his disciples, are you? He denied and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, a relative of him whose ear Peter cut off, said, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter then denied again, and immediately a rooster crowed. 
in Pilate's court. Then they led Jesus from Caiaphas to the Praetorium. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's P-R-A-E-T-O-R-I-U-M. And it was early morning, but, <clears throat> but, but they themselves did not go into the Praetorium, lest they should be defiled, but, they, but that they might, might eat the Passover. Pilate then went out to, to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered and said to him, If he were not an evil, evildoer, we would not have delivered him to you, up to you. Then Pilate said to them, You take him and judge him according to your law. Therefore the Jews said to him, <clears throat> It is not lawful for us to put anyone to death, that the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spoke, signifying by what death he would die. Then Pilate entered the praetorium again and called Jesus <clears throat> and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus answered him, Are you speaking for yourself about this, or did others tell you this concerning me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight so that I will not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. Maddie, Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born, and for this cause I have come into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault in him at all. Taking the place of Barabbas. Barabbas, Bar I don't know how you say it. But you have a custom that I should release someone to you at the Passover. Do you therefore want me to release to you the king of the Jews? Then they all cried again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. All right, guys, that's all for today. Um, <clears throat> Lord, I pray that your word will not go void. Um, well, I pray your word not go void and this reach whoever um, that needs to hear your word, which is all of us. But <clears throat> I'm praying that if that this spoke to someone in particular. <clears throat> and I'm praying for all my brothers and sisters in Christ and um, for the... Um, the restoration of our, of our country. So, um, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, guys, um, I hope y'all have a blessed Friday night. And um, have a great weekend. I'll be coming to you tomorrow with the other reading. Alright. Have a good night. Love y'all. Bye.